All right, man, Tall Guy Car Reviews back with another legendary video, man. Today we are doing a 2019 Mercedes GLE 63 AMG S Coupe, Coupe, however you want to call it. It's a mouthful, man, but this is a legendary car and I got a legendary guy with me, man. My guy, Mr. Organic, no with a K. <laughs> Leg face, karate man. Mr. Organic is here. How you living, people? Back, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, they thought you was going forever. Come on, chance stop. Live a life. Look at the sometimes we just fly solo. Man, and then sometimes we got a co-pilot. Oh, man, we do so much in life. What's well, understood? They got to be explained. Man, God's great. But uh, tell them about the one we're doing today, bro. What's up, man? GLE AMG 63S. Legendary whip. Oh, can't forget the coupe. Oh, it's the coupe. Coupe go a long way. Yeah, that's why it's Don't looking that way. Bro. Coupe. There you go. Legendary whip. Like, this is one of my favorite SUVs I ever, like, first ever seen and fell in love with was this car. I wanted one of these so bad until I started, you know, like, liking Rolls Royces and all that. <laughs> so I saw this, I was like, wow. Just look at the back of it. It killed, like, you know. No, it's crazy. X X6 and X5 is so cool. But this right here took the cake. Yeah, when they already had the X6, the X6 was the only thing standing in its own lane. It created its own wave, and then Mercedes came out with this and smoked the game. Back. We call it the turtle back, it's that ninja turtle, turtle that Michelangelo. It's that tortoise, that Galapagos Island, the big turtle. This is that. Let's get the initials all the way together. G L E C C three S. Do you see the at the bottom? Yeah, that thing that crazy. Counts. It no, definitely counts. Look, 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 What's that? AMG. <laughs> Matters a long way. If you took that off, this a whole another type of whip. No, no that question. And you can't forget the AMG embroidery on the pipes too. Oh like God, quads, but is it four? Quad yeah, pipes. It's definitely Come quad. On, big quad. And the thing sounds ridiculous. Y'all wanna hear it? Hold on. Tell me that joint don't sound buck nasty. Monsterist.com. Come on, man. This is luxury. Yes, this sounding like that. Sound like that. So it's a magic. Big crackle pop. Man, big snap crackle pop. You ever heard the stuff they put on the oven back in the day when we was children when it was just like the aluminum foil on the top and then pop, 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 pop. pop. The Jiffy Pop. Boom. There you go, brother. I appreciate that. I need some assistance. Big Jiffy Pop. That was Big Jiffy Pop. <laughs> and the backup cameras, for those who don't know, it pops out when you put it in reverse. That's crispy. That's big James Bondish type. Big essential, big RTD too. Oh yeah, no question, man. And then they got to come with the surfboard move, you know what I'm saying? So you, you get out style on. What's up, baby? How like me? Yeah, how you doing today? Me? Chill, chilling. <laughs> GLE, you know what I mean? Got the legs Coop. up. Got to show off the shoes. Got to, huh? Giuseppe. Giuseppe's? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah real nice. Brag, I don't know. Hey, where did we get this Mercedes from, brother? Oh, Where's that at? Who would Mercedes Benz? Oh my God, the best Benz dealership in the country. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no that's question. Where I really got my Corvette from, really. Yep. So I got my Stewart, but I bought it from there. I'm talking with you, brother. I'm just yeah, moving so, around. You're yeah. keeping it cinematic. Okay, yeah, you're getting the side perspective. It's on there, brother. The 238. Nah, man. Come on, man. But look at the. Ooh, see the eye. So imagine that at nighttime when you make it a turn. Yeah, that's Come nice. Now, when the blinker that, pops on. Oh, that's gonna look scientific. Big time. You know what's that neon fluorescent blue too? Looking crazy. Then the feet. Get the feet, brother. <laughs> Pedicure. With, with the, the Marilyn with, Monroe lips. Marilyn with, Monroe. With the red brake calipers. Big, big bloody red. That's what he meant by Marilyn Monroe yeah. with people without the drip. You know, sometimes for the people with no drip, they might not understand the analogy. So that's why I had to break it down for everybody so it can stay universal. You gotta help me sometimes. I understand that. V8 bike turbo. That's definitely that. And then, boom, come on, let me stand up here a little bit. Bam, then you see the roof. Got that Michael Jordan up here, scouted out. Michael Jordan? Got my head, too. I take my hat off now. Bam, embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shaved about three days, man. Big George Jefferson. You got that George Jefferson going on there. You know, so have the whole move. You know what I mean? So you get that full sun glaze on you, that good moonlight. Thanks. You're going to feel good, man. Feel like a werewolf when the moon is full. No, just, you know? Yeah, yeah. Big time. Big yeah. Van Helsing. <laughs> <laughs> the front is nice, too, though, bro. I like the front. It's my favorite thing because it got that big Captain America shield. It is that. Man. You know what I'm saying? If you saw a new adventure, you got a different type of shield. That's that. Bottom real, come on, nigga, that chin. That, that, that's that Jay Z lip. That's that Jay Z move, man. That's that cool mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you see what's going on? They got all the cameras. You see all the different cameras. So you got that surround sound. Yep. That bird's eye view. So that way, when y'all parking or anything like that, you can literally see the bird's eye view whenever you're backing it up. No, you shouldn't run into nothing. You got everything. Whole 360. Yeah, it sees everything. So this, it got all the components you could dream of, man. There's no worries in this car. Them no, headlights is, yeah, them headlights yeah, is, headlights yeah, come crazy. on. Yeah, big, big Star Trek. And it, it's all like designed to where it look like a lion right before it hop on the gazelle ass. Yeah, right before it, though. Right before. Not when it low. Yeah. Sneaky eye looking. But it's on its tippy toes, yeah. ready to pounce. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just jump out. <laughs> it's that. All right, man, let me go ahead and uh, pop this hood. It should be a red button right up under here somewhere. Boom, right there. Pull that. Let's go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ninja. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look around, make sure. Get up in there, baby. Look at that thing. Ooh, look at the pinky. Huh, is it up? <laughs> look at the ambiance of greatness. Shout out to Kevin, man. My man Kevin Weebirth made it. Hand Patrick. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin, man. Get him on Facebook. <laughs> send, him a, send him a free request on Facebook, man. Shout out to Add him on the gram. Man, legendary. Snapchat. Do it got carbon fiber on the components? It definitely do. Stop playing, man. Big yeah, that's crazy. by Turbo, man. Big time. Yeah. Mesh net on the Mercedes suit. That's a little nice little touch. Did you see that? Yeah, that's Come crazy. On, take How do you put on actually notice that? Come on, man. Same size of the Mr. Organic piece. It, it is tight, ain't it? Oh, same demographics. Yeah. Come on, man. Legendary <laughs> on legendary. No, it's nice, man. And I think the price, I did a little research on this joint. It was okay. uh, about 113000 give or take, that's for this, which ain't bad. I would have thought it'd been a whole lot more. You know, Mercedes the AMG, it don't take much to get over 100,000 to have an AMG on it. Uh, 577 horsepower. It goes up to about 5,500 RPMs. All wheel drive. Torque, I'm looking at it from my phone, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Uh, torque is 561 torque, 1750 RPM, and the towing capacity is 7,200, brother. Dang. Yeah, so you gotta know that's the same thing. I bought a, for those who are real G Squad, y'all know I bought a Trackhawk a long time ago. Jeep Trackhawk, 707 horsepower. Fastest Jeep in the world, if, if you don't know what it is, man, I sold it, but that towing capacity on there was 7,200, and this has the same exact towing capacity this whole building as the Jeep track hog. Oh, no question, for sure. Yeah, at least a good chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, pop this trunk for y'all real quick and get y'all understanding. So you just hit the button, boom, Come up. opens up. I got my jacket in there right now, because it's type warm out in Minnesota right now. Yeah, it is. Uh, in comparison to what it usually is, it's usually about North Pole right now, yep. but you know, you got all the storage capacity in here, man. You got some good stuff. You got this, you know, cargo thing type sturdy too. I don't know what y'all else y'all want me to tell y'all, but it's uh pretty nice, right, brother? There's a lot of room in there for sure. Yeah, definitely. You just hit the button like so, and then it just goes down. Real majestic type. It's a Mercedes, bro. Oreo cookies, man. Oh, uh, big Oreo cookie. Oreo big cookies, big inside out Oreo though. Yeah, big inside yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. The white on the outside, yeah, black on the inside. Sound yeah. like somebody I know. I see you, I see you scrape that scalp. You saw that? Yeah, I seen that, brother. <laughs> Them seats you go in the mall, you pay five dollars, you sit there. And oh yeah. <laughs> Like that. that white is crazy though. Plus. I've always been afraid to get a white interior though. Yeah. Like it looked crispy though, but I think if you got like yeah, a family yeah, and yeah, kids. Yeah. A lot of people that got the white interior be like putting like towels down when they get in the car and stuff. Yeah. Blue jeans and rub off. They, they, they treat it like their grandma's furniture, yeah. put all that plastic around the seats. Yeah, like how you gonna you just gotta put something on it. Like what you put on the car? In the front, that what's that thing? Expel or whatever it is. Oh yeah, that 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 uh, paint protection, yeah, that that clear put, bra. Yeah, you had to put a killer bra on there. Or something. Yep, something. it's something, man. Cause man, yeah, you know what you gotta get that ceramic pro. Ceramic pro. That's, That's what you was talking about. Okay, I was like oh, clear bra on the interior, okay. brother. Bam, there you go, pinky ring. Yeah. But yeah, man, no, that you definitely gonna need some ceramic pro as soon as you get this, no yeah. question. But you got the AMG right here. You got the step ladder. You got the AMG here, man. I mean, you got the Alcantara around the steering wheel, man. So it got it's like its own embedded mittens. On the yep. steering wheel, 100%. so in Minnesota, that's very important, man. You got the black uh, stitching with the white leather. Pretty nice, man. The piano finish. You got your mechanics. Look at that, man. Got a big cut. Does it say Mercedes Maplewood, Minnesota? Yep. Mercedes Maplewood, Minnesota. Call that phone number right there, 651-217-8700. <laughs> Is that really Mercedes Maplewood? I don't know if it says St. Paul. I don't know if it's oh, it might be, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, one thing that's kind of crazy though is this is a 2019, but they still got this. Now, I heard in the Mercedes you could put the, the button, the, the button in there. Yeah, that's what they say. It's new, yeah. But, it's uh, it's I still, but let it just, I don't want to just come. They, so they just, got it though. They got to put it on. So once you buy it, then they put yeah, it on there. Yeah, because it's brand new, so they don't want people to sitting outside because it's jumping in. So what do you do with this then? You just have it. And then just type ugly type yeah. with the. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but okay. all right, but one thing they didn't change though, this is a fact, is this right here. I still don't like this. Still got the beep, boom, beep, yeah, it shouldn't be no like buttons. <laughs> Excuse me, shouldn't be no buttons and stuff like that in 2019. You know what I mean? And then the analog gauges. Y'all know how much I don't like the analog gauges, and y'all still got the little baby calculator screen for the digital part in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not roasting it because it's a super dope, uh, you know, SUV type crossover type, you know, coupe. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it still has 200 on dash. But I just want full digital. Give me the Mercedes that's. In the same, like, you know, uh, S550s. Yeah. Like, I want that in here, though. Super, like, I feel like that should be possible, right? Yeah, super high tech, super just in an infotainment system. I know what you mean. Yeah, like, why it's not? Like on there a little bit, but it should be all the way through. Yeah, or if it's not, yeah, exactly. So, like, one straight bar, or even yeah. from here to here, or even if you got one full digital and you don't connect it, you got that here, and then you got that there. And then, like, 
how this be digital? Yeah, this gotta be digital. Too. Yeah, like it's 2019, and then we still gotta do this. Like, wow. I, I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not trying to roast it because it's Mercedes, and you gotta know they big innovators, big geniuses, and all no that question. stuff. But come on, why I gotta still hit the buttons? And they I got a little be a method to the yeah, madness. Look, doing that, but come on, look at the little screen. That's like tight Maserati ish. You know what I mean? Ooh, so on. I'm not gonna roast them fully like that. But I'm just saying though, like, what you're saying. of course I know. Why though? Why is it? Why can't this just be? If we're gonna do this like this, why not we just do one big digital screen? There's you know what I mean, like that. And then this could be one big digital button or. I don't know. I ain't no engineer, no designer, or nothing, brother. I'm just saying. It's yeah, 2019, it's your, though. It's your tall guy perspective. That's that's it, man. That's all I'm trying to say, man. You got the piano finish over here. You got the leather over yeah, here. Definitely. I mean, everything's pretty nice. You got the AMG embroidery right here. Let me get that joint. Yeah, Focus that, that, in. That steering wheel is legendary. Oh, a big time, and I big like that time. Alcantara on the steering wheel, man. Mm. And one thing that things sound crazy though. That thing sounds full yeah, iconic sound on the outside. Good. And you got carbon fiber right there too. Y'all see the carbon fiber? Let me get that thing to focus in. You got carbon fiber right there in the middle. So even though I don't like the analog gauges, some people love the analog gauges. Some people who really yeah. like performance really like the analog gauges. And then you got the carbon fiber there with the AMG there. I mean, it's cool, but I'd be lying to y'all say if I like yeah, it or not. Yeah, Let right. me start it, man. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. I prefer the, you know, electronic versions. You see those speakers with the little speaker move? Oh, yeah, can't forget that. That's hard. Little found of you. Right there, I'm going to just reach over to little, you, little, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> little little found of you speakers. Yeah, it's nice. And it actually lights up. I'm going to start this thing up so y'all can hear yeah, it, man. Yeah, nighttime, you know those lights in here be crazy. That ABM, ambient light. That roar is crazy. You got the little car to pop up, too. You got the AMG yeah. right there. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's nice, but it's, you know, and then you got the little button right here that turns it down. Yeah, yeah but, I mean, it's still a CD player, bro. Like... Yeah, that's wild. Type finagle, right? I see one of those so long. Yeah, that's a long time ago, you yeah, know. But yeah, you got the light over here too. Look, you see that light right there under that? Yeah. Oh yeah. See, see that's hard right there. I like. That. Let me get the focus in right there. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that's cool. And you got to understand a lot of stuff that looks cool like this in the light time or in the in the daytime. Imagine how it looks at nighttime. You know what I mean? Ultraviolet. That's what I'm saying. Then you got you got the lightning here and all that. You got the sunroof that's really one whole panoramic. Big old yeah, big old glass. Yeah, it's nice. Glass house, like you know what I mean? Floral. And you got the Alcatara wrapped up here. All on the sides, on the soft. headliner. The soft. Yeah, big supple, big supple material. Mm -hmm. You know all that good material. Yeah, for sure. And then you got the light right here. Yep, good. Up light. top. You got to make sure you little mirror know. with the Alcatara wrapped around the visor. It's on. nice. Let me see how we breaking down the analytics for on three. We, to. we try to help them out. Yeah, come on, brother. It ain't for, them. It ain't for us, for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we already know all this stuff. Yeah, no, but. <laughs> come on, one more time. <laughs> For those who ain't G Squad, don't watch every last video. I'm 6'10, 200 some pounds. You about how tall, brother? I'm 6'6, six, six, brother. 6'6? Six, six. Yeah, this last one was 237, brother. 237, okay, exactly. just weighed in recently. Yes, okay, but I'm gonna hop in here. Real nice interior, man, with the AMG right here, too. Chicken legs in there. Ugh. <laughs> That's easy, Pop. Oh, I'm crushing kneecap. Yeah, I got that. I'm in there, Jeff. Look at me. Sturdy.com, man. I'm not looking <laughs> structure. You looking big squished. Hey, sir, take the one to the go fly. Slap your neck. <laughs> I'm in here, though. I'm big squished up, but I'm in here, though. Stur I could drive like this, though. But I'm kind of looking at you. I'm like, eh, if that's how you but looking I, at 6'6", 6'10", six, 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 ain't going to work. If it's a 6'6", human man in there, I'm not getting it behind him like this. I'm that is true. Ball. So I'm that person should be about 5'10", or so? Yeah, a woman. You know, yeah. nice, voluptuous bottom. Portion. But you still have to scoot up a whole lot to be full, comfortable yeah. type, yeah, right? Yeah, because niggas already on the, I mean, cusp of damage. Yeah, I got, let me see, man. I got to squeeze in. Let me see. You got the MG right there, too. That's nice. Don't touch, don't, the lines over here. Yeah, don't touch my kneecap, brother. Them over here moving. Yeah, okay. Hey. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, big, big no wiggle room at all for the knee. I definitely, you seen that? Yeah, because I knew it was type of squishing if I did, so I had to pick it up. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm big sardine up in here. Yeah, we sardines in the can. Yeah. Big six time. six in the back seat. How the headroom though? Headroom, yeah, you cool headroom even with a hat. Even with the hat. Yeah, yeah. I want to take the hat off, but like I said, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm old, man. Yeah. I might look again right now. Take this hat off, boy. Big fifty. Big uh, Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> big assistance. Big AARP. Now this is the difference between six six and six ten. Yep. See what I'm saying? Like I'm in here calm. Yeah, I'm not. I ain't even gonna hold y'all and lie to y'all, man. Your I have neck broke. Yeah, big neck broke. Man. Yeah, 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 come on, man. Decapitation.com. It ain't gonna work none for me. So let's get back in the front. Let's go on the drive, yes, man. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Leg room in the front. Let's talk about that. I'm scooted all the way back to the MOOC, right? Back, 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 all the way. And this is my leg room. I got a little wiggle room. You can do a little, you know, C walk up in here a little bit, you know, but <laughs> I can't put my foot in between the brake pedal and the gas pedal. So this is about as good as it's gonna get at all times. How's your headroom, brother? My headroom's super splendid. Yeah, I you can kosher? see the world from here, man. I could be super chill. Like I can squish down, I can sit all the way up, be real proper. Hello, Carlton Banks. I'm gonna go to the store and get some milk, two percent preferably, or I just sit back. <laughs> or soy milk. Sit here chill and go get him and give me some more liquor. So, go get you could be either or. or. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people who own the, the kind of top level cars yeah. kind of got double eyes sometimes. Yeah, so. they do. They be so, wanting to be like this, but they be like this. 
They have to. They really want to be like this. Yeah, but saying? they can't. But they can't, but guess what? Look how I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> no, his headroom is cool, though, man. Mine's is kosher. Unlike the back seat, but you got to understand it's like a coupe, so you're going to have to, like, chop top kind of look. Uh -huh. And that's, you get the design with it, but at the same time, you lose some practicality. So if you had to though. choose between practicality yeah. and design, mm -hmm. I'm going with design. I'm going with design all day, seven days a week. Yeah, but if you got big family and all that, then you got to go. Like, but then how big do you got to be back there to have good headroom? I'll say... Anything less than six ten, yeah, because yeah, he's six six and he was cool. cool, yeah. So anything yeah. like six three and, and down, you super good. Yeah, but what about for leg room in the back seat? How tall you think you'd have to be? Yeah, to be closer. with with it scooted all the way back at our height. I say about six two, six, six two and six, yeah, six two and above. You gonna have struggles. Yeah, you gonna have struggles. You gonna have struggles. I thought that's a very six, good two point. And under, you'd be pretty cool. Real quick before we take off, let me move that cup. These, uh, my brother Jeremy, the life of Jeremy Bear. This is one thing he complains about. Every single time I see him when he's in his uh, 2000, he got 2019 Hellcat charger. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing he always complains about is how his old SRT charger has heated and cooled cup holders, but his new one don't. And he absolutely hates that they didn't um, keep the um, heated and cooled cup holders. So when you hit this button right here, boom, that's cooled. And then next you know, you hit it red. And then look at that. That's hard, right? That is. That so, definitely comes ahead. So if you got some coffee or some hot cocoa, yep. you know, you go ahead with some marshmallows, keep them, keep them nice and roasty. You need that roast. You know, you want nice and golden brown on the top. You need that. You put that red on right there, boom. Now it keeps it hot. Then right here, boom, keeps it cold. I don't think I ever heard no Mercedes that came from the dealership just sounding big beefed up like that. Yeah. You know, usually they got the thing where you can mess with the exhaust and all that. They got um, five yeah, modes on here. Mode right yep, they got individual mode. It's like your customization thing. You got comfy mode, sport mode, Sport Plus, and then you got Snow Mode. Mm -hmm. And then you can raise the height of the car, you know, yeah, and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's a Mercedes, man. Big time Mercedes. Big performance, big everything, you know, so. You can't go wrong with this. Good to go. No, no question. And the thing is, too, it's a 2019, man. And I could do everything to this car, but the thing is, though, why would I? Brand new car, man. So I'm going to drive calm. Yeah, and I'm going to let y'all get a good understanding of it. It's got 557 horsepower, give or take or so. Then you got the torque that's equal, similar. It's crazy. So you got to understand, it's a fast car. Do I have to go fast car. to show you as fast? Absolutely not. You should but, know that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, anything with 500. I really feel like anything with four or 500 horsepower mm -hmm. is going to give you everything you that's want. That's a lot. Yeah. Anything past that is kind of like... You're on next level. You're on speed demon. 1% of the 1%. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thing of the car enthusiast. It's so world. rare, yeah. You know what I mean? But you four or 500 horsepower on a car, you all the way closer. Really 300. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're like, doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. You got to know it ain't going to take much to beat your everyday car just like, or to just smash on the highway and then stand out totally different from every other car on the highway. It ain't going to take much. No. You know what I mean? Not so, yeah, most, what would you say would be like the average that most cars have on the highway driving around on a daily basis? I say 200. 200 or something, yeah, because most cars aren't V8s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just having a V8 car alone, you're going to break through the pack. Mm -hmm. Then you get above that, and then you're talking about a whole other echelon of car. That's so, yeah, V8 and above, man, you, ain't nobody riding around with nothing above V8. No. So you got a V8, you that's, already that's tough. Yeah, 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 that's like, yeah, that's the 1% of the car For world. sure. No question, because most people on some, to keep it all the way, G, when I was a kid growing up, I didn't know the difference between a V6 and a V8. Yeah, no, you know, yeah. I love cars, but it, not the only thing I knew, I knew a V12, because Jay-Z is all right about having a V12 yeah. on, and his Range Rover. I mean, like you that. hear the verbiage, but I'm talking about actually knowing yeah, the mechanics I, yeah. behind it. I just I'm knew saying. that that was the top thing. You get your V12, you smashing the earth, but like, of course. I didn't know nothing really underneath that. Yeah, it's crazy though, man, like how that works though, right? And so the more you, the older you get, the more you progress, the more you start to understand stuff. That's how it's supposed to be anyway. For sure. You know, but it's just crazy. Like when you think back to it, you'd be like, man, like when I first wanted to get a Hellcat, I didn't know the, the difference between, you know, the regular Challenger. Yeah. Like the, I didn't know there was all these different levels. For sure. I just thought they all looked different. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was like, and I know then once you start the learning main, cars. And the main thing is the engine that's going to separate the car. Yeah. From another car, from a, from Facts. one one body style, one level to the next, it's gonna be that engine. Yep. And then you go off the trims and the, the interior yep. stuff like that, but that engine was gonna really separate you from the pack. The performance. Oh, yeah. Always. That's what's gonna cost the most every time, too. No question like about most it. Most people think it'd be the interior. No, it's always the performance. It's no, the that's performance. Always, yep. Now weight reduction, yeah, all the that brakes, stuff. The brakes, suspension, all that stuff. All that stuff. Like this right here. Like, you mean to tell me the people who's driving around every single day uh, that own these cars, a lot of them don't even know the difference between, like, if I pull up and a person's in another GLE uh, coupe just like this one, most people would just be like, oh, it looks different like you would know there's something different about this one more than yours but you would think they just put their touches on it uh most car people who are not uh, people who aren't car people and they see this car they, yeah. and they have the like the entry level one 
they'll be like, oh, they you got some different stuff on. Yeah, there. he just model, he just uh, ordered his a different way, uh, different go. attributes, different little trims and stuff. But like car that. people know instantly. Obviously. Yeah, now we so looped up in there, I know yeah, the, difference the difference almost inside. every car. You can see the difference in the stance. Once everything. you know, you can see, and you can never go back. Tires are wider. Yeah, okay, boom. Yep, everything nah, is just different. especially on the aesthetics of it. You know what I mean? Like even like how I got my my Corvette was, I had to get a Grand Sport just got the wideness of it. It looks. Like a different car from a Stingray. Yep. You know what I mean? Did I need the supercharger? I didn't need a supercharger. Nope. That's the only thing that really differentiated from the Z06. From the Z06. So, like, I'm cool with yep. this. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I needed that look, though. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I needed yeah, that. So, I couldn't mean. get yeah. So you want, I couldn't get the thin body little Sting. I couldn't do it. But see, the thing is, though, if you don't, if you but don't if you didn't know, know, you wouldn't never. Because I never knew before. I didn't care. But once I got in the car, I'm like, nah, I can't get that one. There but you go. most people don't know. Most don't. Especially most women. They gonna, they gonna see that and be already excited. To the people who, who don't really have their own sense of purpose, yeah. and and then they, then they look to a car or material things yeah, to. Yeah, no, without yeah. nothing, you still the person you are. So right. you can't stand on your own without all the material stuff or a car and all that. Who are you for real? You know exactly. And that's people get Supply. lost in that. You know, mm -hmm. especially a person like that. See me, they think that's what I'm all about, but they so mistaken. Like I was doing way more stuff with less. Yeah. This stuff actually hinders me on a lot of things because people expect so much more. Yeah. Especially women. We, once you level up, it's like people yeah. want you to keep leveling. And the thing yeah, is, too, is. more from you than, than you willing to give them. And you should want to level up, but not everybody wants to level up with cars. Some people want to level up with business. Some people want to level up with stocks. Some people sure. want to. You know what I mean? So whatever your purpose is. Exactly. Like, but, in, but in the car world, people. The, the car is, is always key. Yeah, you know, if you really into cars like that, that's cool. Yep. Some people get mad at people trying to roast people that they got, like, living a bummy crib. And they got a nice car. Well, that's their business. That's, that's, what, they exactly. that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Well, you mad at them for that? It's your business. If you could have an average of the person who would buy this car, what, what would you, what would you think their occupation would be? Man, God, I'd be a big doctor. I was, I'd say yeah, doctor. Yeah, big doctor, big real estate. You know. Yeah, doctor, real estate, uh, uh, finances, somewhere yeah, in the big, business big world. Boy, business yeah. world. Yeah. You, be, you definitely making six figures for sure. You have so to. You gotta be really solidified. Because you gotta think, one hundred thirteen thousand dollars. You're gonna pay. Like, my track hog was about one hundred six thousand, give or take. Yeah. And I was paying one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars a month. Yeah. Not including car insurance. So I was paying about two thousand or about two thousand a month for that. And that was about a hundred, hundred six thousand dollars with a six percent interest rate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you gotta think this, you're gonna be paying maybe two thousand dollars a month, maybe nineteen hundred. You know yeah. what I mean? Even if you got two percent interest rate. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you gotta be sitting big. Yep. So for the people out there who want this car, you know, and uh you thinking about buying it. I would say it's a good buy. I say it drives good. I say it's comfortable. I say it looks good on the interior, on the exterior. It's a Mercedes, you know, but at the same time, you gotta know what comes with Mercedes too. So do you want to finance? Do you want to lease? These are all things that you have to think about. So for anybody out there who want to buy this car, think about all the variables. Don't think about just copping the whip because once you cop the car, it's not as simple as just, I got it. You gotta maintain the sustain. Come on with it, yeah, the insurance and exactly. So most people think when they can afford a car, it's just making the payments. No, oh, you gotta pay for all the just in case stuff too. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, oil changes. A lot of times, you know, with dealerships like Maplewood, uh, Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm. you, you will get the free oil changes and stuff like that. But yep. make sure you check into all that stuff. You know? Yeah, make sure you ask them questions. It's pricey, like. I'm saying that that yep. little maintenance stuff is pricey on cars. 100% definitely Especially when you're getting into them foreigns. Yep. No question about it. So do your research. Yep, you ready to drive, brother? Yeah, let me take a look. I want, I want to hear your thoughts on it, man, because you know, you're more of a foreign guy than I am, so I kind of want to just see what you got to say about it. You know what Boy, almost fall. Phil, you seen that? I feel like, boy, I feel like I'm big goddamn Zion Williams next year. <laughs> <laughs> big, big injury in the draft. Dang, boy, I'm a millionaire, man. Yeah, facts. Yeah, this joint feel like, man, I got my big count on obese. Big full mode. This feel crazy. You feel big it endless. instantly. You do. Yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> we rub the hands, Birdman style. Yeah. I'm sure, this how it feel right in the get, I wonder if you get the interior with the red. You got to. Yeah, yeah I would get it with red. That. I get that red for sure. Because yeah, the red, you ain't really got to worry about it, like, getting dirty yeah, and all that. Especially like, that, like, red white. and black accent. You can yep. mix it up. Facts. Yeah, this joint, man. No, fool. You can tell this is worth, this is worth some money, boy. And the stance. Yeah, that stance, you sitting up. Yeah, the, the hot. Who's on the outside? It's hot. Hot feels when you're driving. No, nah, this joint, no, nah, I didn't know. I was on that side. I didn't know how this felt right here. Yeah, no, it's nice. This feel real sweet. And over here, it do feel different, too, from over there to here. Yeah, I mean, it always do. Yeah, but it's a difference, though. I got more leg room over here. I feel more comfortable. It feels like more calm. Over here. You feel more calm and yeah. cool. This you feel like, man. You feel a little aggressive over there, Straight right? Straight up. I feel like I'm looking, looking over my shoulder, looking at people with their nose up, <laughs> looking at them like this. <laughs> Tint yeah. windows or no? I'm going to tell them. I'm I'll, I'll tell them too. Yeah, because it just gave that more aggressive look on this. It does, though. Because yeah. this joint, it, it needs everything. 
You can't play with it. Imagine putting like a fluorescent rap on this joint. Look crazy. Oh, you put a rap on here, it's game over. Ooh. It's putting game over. But do you think this would be enough for like the YouTube world? Yeah. I don't think so. I think if you put a, a cold rap on it, right? Yeah. You put a cold rap on it, it will. To, to get people to tune in tight? Yeah, I mean. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. it'd be, know. It'd be enough if you're just a lifestyle person. See, like me, I'm more of a lifestyle person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, so it's cool. cool. But if you're for talking me, about for the no, car world, yeah. it, it just, it's you, just a dope I'm talking car. about to pull in people to pull in people to, to watch the channel. Like, and you're you know, a car person. You know, everybody got to get that car to get people to pull in. Like, the I got my Hellcat. Person. People yeah. started finding me from the Hellcat. Yeah, yeah. So, this ain't going to, I don't know, not for YouTube world. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Just if you're a lifestyle vlogger type guy, yeah. Yeah, but in everyday life, people who know, they going to give you the most praise. Yeah, sure. The yeah. most salute. They don't go crazy. Yeah, that exhaust is crazy. Man. Yeah, it's nuts. Come on, man. Let me turn it around. Joint got good. What's that called when you do that? Uh, uh, turning radius. Turning radius. Look man, at it. You know I know, brother. You know what I'm saying? I got learned a little something. Yeah, doing this car radius. videos. You know what I mean? That turning radius was luxurious. <laughs> you know what's crazy, man? Is the luxury cars. I, I mean, they're to be the respected. The ones that are luxury, yeah. and they got the, the speed performance. and performance. Them is so another level. But the thing is, to me, though, I just don't feel right driving fast in them because they're it's so true. luxurious. Just, like, yeah. I feel like you look like a buffoon guy. Like you're going crazy in something that's just expensive and this luxurious. Yeah, guy. like it's Supposed like cruising. Like 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 a like a wraith. They can go fast. Yeah, right. Twelve. But the thing is, though, I, I feel like you right. just look. Yeah, you can stay straight. I feel like you just look crazy no, going you're fast. Smashing out. Yeah, and I, if I if I'm in my Hellcat and a wraith go by me blowing, I'm be like, what the hell? But what about but. Aren't like Porsches luxurious and they fast? Yeah, they are. Type of fine, but uh, but yeah, these but, are more. I don't know. Yeah. Like Benz's are a little different. That's what I'm saying. Benz got. I feel like you got a different vibe about it. And it got to be the certain ones. Yes. So like, if you got the GTSs, they, those are the GTRs. Yeah, those that. now the GTS and the GTRs. Those, those are AMG ones. Drove. Those yeah, those those are different. But with like a crossover like this, like, like these, be smashing or like S550, even though they can go fast, like 12 yeah. Yeah. Or Maybe even back. or even the G wagon. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I just be like, I just yeah, don't, like, why don't would you feel do right to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why like we go through this whole review without speeding one time because. It's like you don't it's necessarily cruising. have to, and yeah. it sounds good. Sounds good. You but, know what you got it if you want to use yeah, it. But that's the end of the video, man. I think this is a dope car, man. If you're in the market to buy it and you want to buy it, I think it's worth the money. 115000 I think they could have charged more if they really wanted to. They they, really I wanted feel like to. they would have definitely been able to sell it, too. No but, question. But Tall Guy Car Reviews, man, my dog, Mr. Organic. Yeah, man. Make, make sure you go to Maplewood, Maplewood, Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. 100%. Maplewood, Minnesota, man. Yes, sir. If you're you know, Minnesota, they, definitely. They'll ship it to you. They'll do anything. They'll do man. anywhere, man. Yeah. Look at them lights on that thing. Yeah, Look crazy. See that? Tall guy car reviews, man. My dog, Mr. Organic, man. We'll see you on the next video, baby. Three, uh... <laughs>